With InVideo, you can convert a script into a faceless video by using AI technology within just a few minutes. The best part is, you do not even have to write the script yourself because you can have InVideo do the entire job for you. All you need to do is first of all, sign up for an account. I'll leave a link for that in the description down below. I'll also provide you with a discount code, but more on that later. Once you're inside your account, you'll see templates, text to video, stock media, and the editor. In order to convert a script into a full faceless video, you wanna to go to AI text to video. Step number one is choosing a template. If I just scroll through these, you'll see they've got tons of templates available. I'll let you choose which one you like. For today, what I'm gonna do is simply scroll up and choose this one right here, which is a pretty basic template. Next up, make sure you choose the correct landscape. For YouTube, choose 16 by nine. For Instagram, choose square. For shorts, reels, TikToks, choose portrait. I'm gonna make this for YouTube, so I'm gonna go with landscape, click use template, and there we go. Step number three is using your script. Now you can do this two ways. You can take your own script. So I've got a script prepared here that I can simply copy just like that, go over here and then paste it in here. And then I can have a full video generated from just this script alone. What you can also do is have the AI from NVIDIA write a full script for you. So what you can say right here is, I want a script for a video about things to do in Amsterdam, including restaurants and tourist attractions, then click generate, then it's gonna generate a full script for you within just a few seconds. So what you'll see right here, I'll quickly let it load so that you can see it is actually pretty fast. It's gonna create a full script for you. Then with one more click of a button, you've got your full video. And as you can see, it's done already, just took a few seconds. Welcome to our video guide on the top things to do in Amsterdam. Let's dive right in. Start your journey with a visit to the iconic Anne Frank House, a powerful reminder of history. So if I scroll down, you can see this is a full script. This will be a very long video that I can now generate. So I'll leave the choice up to you whether you, whether you wanna use your own script or the AI. But from here on forward, what is very important is that you get rid of the free clips and you choose iStock and Premium, which is possible with a paid plan. I myself, I've got a paid plan on in video. The reason I chose to do this is because the quality of the video is gonna be significantly higher. If you're just gonna get free stock footage with low quality with a watermark, not really worth it. So I do recommend taking a paid plan on in video. I've actually got a discount code, which is YVH25, in case you would like to use that. I'll leave a link for that in the description down below. Anyway, now you need to click on create scenes. If you take a look right here, what you'll see is that they're now gonna generate your video. This, depending on the length of your script, might take just a few minutes, but usually it's done within just a minute. It is now currently opening the project. Please wait, so this should take just a few seconds, and then we'll be sent over into the video editor, which is where we can start customizing the entire video. And here we go, that just happened. So this is what the storyboard looks like. The storyboard is basically the place where you can edit, but mainly see all of your scenes. If you now look at the left-hand side, you'll see all of your scenes. A scene is basically the part of the script that they've put into a clip, which in this case, scene number one, scene number two, three, four, five, etc. list goes on and on, depending on how long your script is. For every scene, there will be a video as well as text up on the screen. So this right there, this is scene number one. We've got this video playing in the background. If I play this for you, I'll show you what it looks like. I'll mute the audio. Later on in the video, I'll show you how you can add a voiceover as well as music. But here we go. This currently is a picture with this text. What I can now do is change the clips. The way you do that is by going to videos. And now you can search from over 8 million stock footage clips, which are high quality if you've got the paid plan. This will take clips from iStock, Storyblocks, and other stock footage platforms that usually would already cost you more if you were to get all of those subscriptions than just one in video plan alone. So that already is a win. From here on, you can basically search for whatever it is that you want. For example, Amsterdam canals, just like that. You simply search, you get all the clips that show up. From there on, you can simply scroll through. You can preview it by simply hovering on this and you can find a clip that you would like. So I would search for Amsterdam canals, just like that. Let's say that I would like to go with this clip right here. I can simply select this, then drag it into the clip, click replace, because if you choose a pen media file, it's gonna add it above or to it. So I'm gonna click replace just like that. Then what you can do is choose a part of the video. So this is the beginning of that clip. However, if you wanna take the middle part, you can also do that. As you can see, this already is gonna be much different, but this is beautiful. I like this part. So what I'll do is click add just like that. 
and then it's gonna change the clip. As you can see, the clip is now different. So if I preview this now, as you can see, that is now what it looks like. However, you can see there's kind of like this dark glow on it, which I do not like. So in order to change that, I can go to the editor and I will see all of the elements. So this is my entire video as of right now. You can see it's already a pretty long video. It's almost three minutes with just that script that we had generated. But there's this weird like vignette kind of effect. If I want to get rid of that, I can go to elements and you can do this with anything that shows up. So text, videos, pictures, whatever it is. Simply unlock this so that you can start editing it. Then you can either change it. So if you make this a bit bigger, the effect will slightly go away. For example, if I put it like this, you can see it's already less. It's still there. You can see the difference, right? There you go. It's still less, but it's still there. If I want to get rid of it entirely, simply click right there. And there we go. It's now gone. I can then go back to the storyboard to continue editing our video. The reason this showed up in the first place is because this is included in the specific template that I chose. So do know that this is not included on every single video that you might potentially make. From here on, we've just changed the clip. We got rid of the overlay. We can now customize our text, which shows up right here. In order to do that, simply select it. Then what you can do from here is basically use this toolbar to customize anything. So for example, click edit in order to edit the actual text. Click font to change the font, size to change the size, you get the point. Let me quickly demonstrate how that works and how you can change the font for all of the scenes so that you don't have to do this manually one by one because that's going to be quite a hassle. So let's say that I would like to go with this one right here. First of all, I simply select it. From there on, I click all text. I actually don't like this, so I'll change this one. And there we go. Click all text and there we go. Was applied to all the text. So if I now scroll down, as you can see, the text right here is the same font, which is perfect. And that's how that works. If I now want to change the size, I can simply go to font size, click on 72, for example. And as you can see, it's going to get bigger. What you can also do is simply change it back and you can play around with this. So if you drag this here, as you can see, you can change the formatting from that specific part of the text. In order to change the placement, you can either just drag this around or what you can do is go over here, position, for example, left, for example, middle for example, bottom, just like that. That's how that works. But I recommend just dragging it. It's pretty easy and the easiest way to get that done. What if you want to add some background effects to the text? Click on text effects right there. Click text shadow, for example, open it up just like that and then customize with this. You can see if I play around with the angle, you can see that the background shadow actually moves around as well. So that's how that works. Distance, you can play around with that. That's basically where you can edit everything. So, so far you can see that in video is extremely easy to customize your video with. So what you would do from here on is simply go down to scene number two and do the exact same thing. So whether you would like to keep the overlay or not, you can go back into the editor. Then once again, get rid of the overlay, remove the lock so that you can actually change it. And there we go. Go back to the storyboard. And by the way, you can also edit your entire video here in the editor. In order to do that, you simply start using it here. Select the text, for example, go to text effects, go to the shadow, and there you go. I can now play around with the shadow again, depending on where I would like it to be. So that's how you can start editing the entire video. It's fairly easy to do. It's drag and drop editing. Anyone that has never done this before can still do this. In order to upload your custom clips, what you can do is go to uploads, click upload media, and then upload any file from your computer. So I've actually done that before. You can see I've uploaded some clips, some pictures, whatever it is. Simply upload it and then drag it in so that you can start using it just like you would normally do. So this is basically how you would continue to build out your video. Now, what if there's too much text up on a screen? So for example, let me see if I can find a part where there's too much text. This one right here, for example, has quite a lot of text. Let's say that this doesn't fit, which it actually doesn't. What you can do is select a part where you want to split up that specific scene. So for example, if you want to cut it at neighborhood, click right there. And as you can see, it's going to generate two parts out of this specific scene. So we've got scene number 12, part number one, part number two, which then works like that. That is pretty easy to use like that. So if I now simply scroll down to scene number 12, what you'll see if I preview this is that first of all, it's going to play part number one. And then the second part is also going to come in just like that. That is perfect. Very easy to do. So that is how the basics work. So that's how you can start building your video. What you would then do is go scene by scene. So you would change the clip for number one, two, three, four, five, until your entire video has the clips that you like until you're happy. 
From there on, what you can do is add background music and add a voiceover. In order to do that, what you can do is use the left-hand side menu, click music, and then first of all, you can choose the song based on your liking. What NVIDIA has done, uh, they've made sure that you can use anything from their library without getting into trouble with copyright if you've got a paid plan, which is also a reason I went with a premium plan so that I can start using background music as well as other features like no watermarks, unlimited 1080p quality, this and that. So from here on, you can simply filter on whatever it is that you like. You can go by genre, you can add sound effects, which is a huge win because most platforms do not have this. And then from there, all you need to do is simply click on the song that you would like, click on the plus icon, click yes, and there you go. This is now added to your video. If you wanna confirm that, you can go into the editor, and as you can see, it shows up right here. From there on, you can trim it, you can loop it in case the video is longer than your song. You can also change the volume. So for example, if I put this a little bit lower, let's say 40%, so that the voiceover that I will be adding soon, you can also hear that, otherwise it's just gonna be music, which is not what we want. Then go back to the storyboard and then continue to build out your video. That is pretty much how it works. So we've now added music, we've changed the clips, we've got our video, perfect. What if we wanna add a voiceover? Fairly easy to do, here's how. So right here, you'll see voiceover. Make sure that you're in the storyboard, then click voiceover, and then you've got a few options. You've got automated text-to-speech, which is basically an AI voice. You've got import from your uploads, upload your voiceover file, or record voiceover. All of these are possible to add voiceovers, okay? So if you wanna add your own one, or hire a freelancer, use an external tool, whatever it is, you can custom upload that specific file so that you can add that as the voiceover. However, what is the easiest way is click on automated text-to-speech, and then what you can do is, first of all, set it to realistic, then choose the language, so I'll stick to US English, then choose your voice. So I will go with Maxwell, I will click generate voiceover, and then I will show you what that sounds like. But before that, what is important is ticking this box right here, add automated voiceover for all the scenes. Otherwise, if you do not do that, you have to generate a custom per scene, which is gonna take you a while if you've got a long video. So it's currently rendering and creating that voiceover. This, depending once again on the length of your video, might take a few seconds, might take one minute, but as soon as that is done, your entire video now has a voiceover, meaning you've got a faceless video with high quality footage, an actual text overlay, so captions, which is extremely important because it's easy for people to read along. If they do not have access to audio, they can still consume your video, as well as background music. So this is pretty much how you can generate a full faceless video with NVIDIA. Now what's even better is that, for example, this kind of video about things to do in Amsterdam is a popular format that can get 600,000 views. And as you can see, it's the same B-roll footage. For example, this video right there, 1.3 million views, which if I click play, you will see that this is basically, once again, B-roll footage, and it doesn't even have the text part. So if you add the text part, it's gonna even be a better video. And if this can get 1.3 million views, just imagine what kind of stuff you can do with NVIDIA. The opportunities are pretty much endless. What is worth mentioning as well is that very soon, and by the time you're watching this, this might already be out, they've got a idea to video generator, which basically means that you can give it a prompt and it's gonna generate the entire video for you. So not just the script, the entire video. So for example, you click generate on a prompt and there you go. That's the full video that it will generate, which is pretty insane. But in case you're watching this a while after me uploading, it might already be available. So check that out. What is great is that if you've got a premium plan on NVIDIA, you get immediate access to the NVIDIA AI generator as well. And there we go. So that took about two minutes. And as you can see, the entire voice over for a video has now been generated. What I want like to do is simply preview this for you so that you can see how our video is now turning out. So simply quit play. Welcome to our video guide on the top things to do in Amsterdam. Let's dive right in. Start your journey with a visit to the iconic Anne Frank house, a powerful reminder of history. Okay, so that is what that currently looks like. So I have not adjusted all clips yet. However, you can see that it has generated a full video with text up on the screen, with a voiceover, and with background music, which is perfect for faceless YouTube videos. Now, what I would like you to know is that the preview quality is less than the actual quality is gonna be. So if you now click on export in the top right corner, and you've got a paid plan on NVIDIA, you click export, it's gonna be 1080p full HD. So I'm now gonna download my video, and then I'll show you a result 
of a video I generated at the end of the video you're watching right now. However, before that, if you would like to sign up for NVIDIA, I'll leave a link in the description down below. And you can use code YVH25 to get 25% off any paid plan on NVIDIA for the lifetime of you using it, which is an exclusive deal that NVIDIA was able to give me because I've been a dedicated user of the platform for a while now. So you can apply that code at checkout to get a lifetime discount of 25%. With that being said, I highly recommend NVIDIA to create these type of videos and there's much more to it. I'll leave more videos in the description down below, such as the template section, comparisons, full courses, and much more, so check that out. And with that being said, here's a video I made with NVIDIA. Welcome to Amsterdam, the vibrant city known for its rich history, stunning architecture, and world-class attractions. First on your list should be a visit to the iconic Anne Frank House, where you can immerse yourself in the story of this courageous young girl. Take a leisurely stroll along the picturesque canals and marvel at the charming gable houses that line the streets. Indulge in the mouth-watering Dutch cuisine by visiting local restaurants like De Cass, where you can savor farm fresh ingredients in a greenhouse setting. For a unique dining experience, head to the Supper Club, where you can enjoy a delicious meal while lounging on plush white beds. Experience the vibrant nightlife by exploring the trendy bars and clubs in the lively Leidseplein area.